Hello, Steve. I just want to congratulate you on a wonderful, wonderful career you've had in higher ed. And you've interacted efficiently with the college, with the students, and the faculty. And, and I'm also in that group. You should feel very good about the relationship of teaching and interacting with students. And you've helped them form a lifetime career that they would probably never had if it wasn't for you. Now's the time to look at some of the things that you've always wanted to do and look at retirement as a gift and enjoy it all the way. And, and the one last thing that I want to leave with you is that make sure you wear your mask. Thank you. Hi, Steve. Just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement from a long and distinguished career at West Virginia Tech and West Virginia University Institute of Technology. I think we first became acquainted about 1971 or two when you were a work-study student in Dr. Rice's office. Since that time, you have certainly moved up to a great accomplishment of becoming the dean of one of the colleges of that institution and serving almost 50 years in various capacities at West Virginia Tech. I think your career has been stellar. You were a very popular faculty member. You're an accomplished author. You've uh, written a really nice biography of John George Jackson, the uh, new voice of the West, uh, a man who would not have been known in much of West Virginia history had you not done that biography, and yet he was very important to the course of our history. You've had a lot to deal with uh, at West Virginia Tech when we changed from being an independent institution to becoming a regional campus of WVU, then later being integrated into the university, and then, of course, the extremely large task of overseeing the move from Montgomery to Beckley. You've handled all that very well. And I know your faculty and staff are very appreciative of the way that you have administered your organization. It's uh, one thing to be a, an administrator and in charge, and it's an, another thing to be a leader, and I think you have been a leader. I hope that you have a wonderful retirement. I know you and Julia have traveled quite a bit before and probably hope to do that again and visit your son out there in Arizona. And I hope if you haven't, uh, if I remember, sold your fifth wheel, you're able to get it out and get it in running condition or get a new one and get on the road and enjoy yourselves. It's been great to have associated with you. I appreciate it very much you taking over the chair of the Department of History in the late 1990s when Dr. Alexander was ill, and I have appreciated the way that you took over as dean once that I retired. Best wishes to you and Julia and to all the family. Have a great retirement. I recommend it highly. Hi, Dean Brown, Rebecca McPhail here, a proud graduate of West Virginia Tech and a history major from back in 1996. I joined so many today in saying congratulations on your retirement and a wonderful career that leaves a legacy at our university. But most of all, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for the lives that you've impacted, including my own. Your love and your passion for history is something that I carry with me today and has been a blessing in my career. Thank you again for all that you've done, and I really hope that you enjoy this next chapter of your life. Hi, Steve. I just want to say thanks for your guidance and the work we did together on the RBA program. Have a wonderful retirement. You deserve it. Hi, Steve. <laughs> um, what can I say about Steve Brown? Well, I'd say you're one of the last of the Mohicans. One of such a lasting service and dedication to tech, both as a fellow faculty member and as a dean. Even though we served in different colleges, uh, I had the privilege of serving uh, on some committees with you, uh, most recently on the uh, Provo search. And um, when one serves on a committee, you notice certain qualities of people on that committee. And one of the things I noticed about you, you was always courteous and respectful to others. However, one thing does stand out. You generally will wait and listen to the opinions of others on the committee first. And then you'll give your opinion. 
Uh, one thing I've always noticed is that, uh, well, I think, uh, if I'm paraphrasing an old TV commercial, if Steve Brown speaks, you better listen. <laughs> well, good luck on your uh, uh, retirement, and Kathy and I both wish you the best, and hopefully our, our paths will cross uh, several times uh, in the future. Thank you. Greetings, Steve, and congratulations on your retirement. I've always enjoyed the experiences we've had together over the years. And as I thought about some of those, a couple of memories stood out to me. The first was quite a few years ago now, when my wife and I had a young lady from France visit us for the summer. She expressed interest in learning more about West Virginia and also curiosity about what it would be like to attend a university level course in the United States. You graciously agreed to let her sit in on your West Virginia history class that summer. And I know she appreciated that opportunity and she treasured the textbook that you autographed for her at the end of the course. The second memory is one where you and I got together a few years ago now for a brief flight over the Montgomery and Fola areas. Gave me a chance to learn a little bit more about the history of tech and the Upper Kanawha Valley, as well as some insight into your early personal history in Clay County. I really had fun that day. On the work front, I've enjoyed working with you on various committees over the years. And I especially appreciate the fact that you never started charging me for all the times that I contacted you for information or assistance or the times that I heavily borrowed from a carefully crafted, concise communication to your faculty. Your support and assistance to me over the years was always appreciated. Beyond that, I observed that your dedication to support the students, faculty, and staff at Tech over the years was always exemplary. You will be greatly missed. All that remains for me at this point is to close out by wishing you a wonderful time in your retirement. Enjoy it and stay in touch. Dr. Brown, over the past 14 and a half years, I have had the honor to work for you and with you. You have helped me grow professionally and personally over these years. Dr. Brown, you have provided me praise in my accomplishments and provided me guidance in all of my mistakes. People will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Dr. Brown, you have made me and everyone at WVU Tech feel value. That's why when you retire, you'll be missed, but never forgotten by students, faculty, and staff. I wish you the best in retirement. Not only congratulations or good luck or best wishes, but thank you for everything you've done for me personally and for WVU Tech. So Steve Brown, you're finally retiring. You'll be pleased to know that uh, Captain Rakes badgered me into to leaving you a happy message on your retirement. And I need to tell you that I'm a little worried when you're gone that there won't be anyone to keep him in check. But uh, anyway, let me just say a, a few fond words and uh, observe that your retirement's well-deserved because I recall that when you were in Montgomery, you were already thinking of retirement and then bravely helped to move uh, the institution to Beckley. And still another four years down the road, you had served as dean. So, so I wanted to say you're, you're not just a golden bear, you're a solid gold bear. And uh, just one more observation is that now every day is going to be a Saturday. And this, this made me reflect on it just a little bit here, that probably not since you were four or five years old have weekends not mattered. And so for a hundred years, right, weekends have mattered. And now, and now, uh, you will be able to say every day is a Saturday. And just want to say, I hope that every day is a solid gold Saturday for you. 
Good luck and thanks for everything you've done. Hi, Dad. I just wanted to congratulate you for starting a new phase of your life, which, although called retirement, is likely to be anything but slow or laid back. Over the years, your home improvement projects, your woodworking, and your auto restoration projects have simply become the stuff of legend in my life. On those grounds, I'd also like to offer my condolences to my mother for all the projects that she's certain to endure in the coming years. But never fear, I do have extra space and my door is always open to mom while you remodel the house. In all seriousness though, I wanted to let you know what an inspiration you've been in my life and what a wonderful parent you've been as well. On those roles, I'm afraid there's just no retirement in sight. Your wisdom will be as valuable for me tomorrow as it is today and as it was yesterday. I love you and I wish you the happiest days ahead. Please don't be a stranger in Tucson and I'll see you soon. Dr. Stephen Brown, he has been with this university for 48 years, 20 years as our dean, and I can tell you that he has done a wonderful job. That's the reason I wanted to be here, to thank him, to uh, acknowledge him, to uh, cheer him on. Um, dean Brown was going, to, uh, was going to retire a bit earlier, but then the pandemic came and he consented to stay on, and for that, we have been really blessed. The other thing that I always remember about uh, Steve, about Dean Brown, is that uh, when we made the decision to move to Beckley, he appeared before the legislature and gave a very impassioned and thoughtful uh, speech about how this would be good for tech and great for Beckley and great for the university. So as leadership shines, uh, he will be missed. Uh, and uh, I can no longer joke about the fact that when we call him Dean Brown, I thought for years his name was Dean Brown. I didn't realize uh, that it was Dean Brown. So anyway, it's wonderful to, uh, to recognize you. It's wonderful to know that uh, we have such a great friend of our university and someone who will continue to make a difference in the life of West Virginia as one of West Virginia's most important historians. <laughs>